We often try to explain the brain in terms of very simple concepts. But the reality is to really understand the brain, you need to be able to understand complex behavior from multiple angles. I'm Damien Fair, and I'm a cognitive neuroscientist. My career has been devoted to studying the developing brain. I use non-invasive techniques like MRI to understand and characterize fundamental principles of how the brain works and its function. This work goes from infancy to adolescence through young adulthood. And I also examine atypical populations, kids with ADHD, autism, and other mental health disorders. And so what we've tried to do is take a very holistic approach to trying to understand brain development and try to incorporate many aspects of the brain at many levels to try to characterize how it works. And to do so, we, we've kind of narrowed it down to several bottlenecks. These bottlenecks include the concept of heterogeneity, the idea that for any given behavior, for any given mental disorder, that there's likely more than one way that the brain is actually accomplishing that particular goal. We try to bridge information across multiple levels of study to make true impact and to really take the discoveries that we were identifying with non-invasive imaging in the brain sciences to make palpable inroads into clinical treatments, into the community, into policy. We needed to start combining forces with experts in multiple lanes. We were able to identify any given individual brain with almost 100% accuracy, and it became obvious that this, this method, this approach, was very much like a fingerprint. And so we, we called it connectotyping to kind of mimic almost what you would do with a genotype with the philosophy called functional fingerprinting. Graph theory is all about the study of networks, simply just the collection of nodes. So nodes can be anything from people to cities to web pages that are linked by some line or edge. Now what all those data show is that many systems, and this turns out including the brain, are not purely random in how they're organized. There's some structure in there that is hard to define, even though you can see it to be true. So graph theory tries to identify and clarify what is that structure, how do you quantify it, and then what does it mean with regard to the functioning. We know that many of these systems are present very, very early in development, even right when you're born. And so our approach is that non-invasive imaging is a measurement. We often just assume that if we see a brain activity, we see a brain block, you know, in a specific part of the brain, that the biology that's reflective of that is right underneath. But these data suggest that even insults that can occur very, very distant places can show up in, in unexpected places with the non-invasive imaging techniques, which completely changes how we interpret that data. We've already seen a lot of inroads in some of that work and how it can help us to get the holy grail, which is trying to understand human behavior. I just love understanding how the brain works and I wanna see if I can figure out some aspect of it that can help people in their everyday lives.